Bebe. Hello, my sugar binga bungas. Again, get in J. Hey, me nangi lichi jibo. Inga buzong yanzani mina. Umangi chichi ganchen. Gone are the days when women used to pride themselves. Gubuntombi babo. Gone are the days when women. Bebe's gacha. Gogus patagashi. Gogus shonipa. Gogus oka. Goguba yi gugu. Lom shab. Um shaba uyab. Matter of fact, um shaba upubil. Kwe manje lent ok azi. Enezwi elimt oti. Enkaita uktula itulo layo. Uf. Isi mes. No, I. First of all, I was killing Kumana before Senza Mehiwa. I did not know who Senza Mehiwa was until a friend of mine, Lucia Mtiani, uh, uh, explained to me who he was. Nobody knew who Senza Mehiwa was until he was attached to the brand killing Kumana. So, really, like really, really, I have nothing to gain. I've had nothing to gain. Kelly Kumalo, the voice of the nation, so much talent, so much beauty, zero shame, unfortunately. And that is exactly what placed her in the position that she is currently in. Being constantly followed by a dark cloud. Uyafa amapati. Uyafa yitrito. Uyafa yizikalegiso. Ngenga yezono zaki. Because of that one wrong decision that she made of becoming a mistress. Of taking pride in becoming a mistress. Bragging about the fact that she is a mistress. What delela, what delela, ukeli, what koshela, umfazi, gasenzo, meiwa. And now she is currently being investigated for murder because she is a suspect in the killing of her married boyfriend, Senzo Meiwa. And I say married boyfriend because at the time of his passing or at the time of his murder, they were still together. And Senzo Meiwa was married. You found out in your relationship that he was married. Why did you want to continue with it? I did not continue. He dropped his relationship to be with me. She knew good and well that this man was married and had a family that he was building with. But she didn't care. She dove right in, head first, and she bragged about it. And from that relationship came a beautiful daughter, an innocent soul, an angel that is supposed to look up to her mother. There are so many questions left unanswered. And whenever people get closer to the answer, someone dies. Someone is silenced for good. Someone is bribed. Someone is threatened. People in top places are doing shenanigans behind the scenes to conceal the real murderer. And everybody who was in that house on that day knows exactly what happened, but they refuse to tell the truth. While innocent men are in custody, while innocent men are being questioned and tried for a crime they did not commit. I watched the first two episodes of that docu-series of theirs. And initially, Kelly Kumalo says there were three men 
who barged into that home. Then it went from three men to two men. What exactly is it? What exactly happened? When are you going to tell the truth? All this back and forth gets really annoying and I can imagine how frustrating and painful it is for Senzo Meiwa's loved ones. Because they know for a fact that all those people know the truth, but they won't speak up. And deep down, everybody knows for a fact that if Senzo Meiwa had remained faithful to his wife, he wouldn't have gone out like that. The legendary Senzo Meiwa. Most people are thinking it, but I will say it because it's the truth. And Msamuami Yonkinto Si Bega Nge Mbaba. I don't understand why men don't get it. This Jezebel spirit, Obufebe, Hosasanka, is what always leads you to your demise. Always. Ke panfunuglo ken zenza mapoza. Ni pulin chiziyo zenganzabantu. And pleasing the enemy. Le nyoga nyoga eza mungena paga tukumshato win. Why do you struggle so much to control yourself? To discipline yourself? To not fall into the trap of temptation, especially when you've committed to someone. Especially when you've signed a contract with God. Namadlozi. Alo muntu omshadil. Because aushadina ikpel. When you get married, you don't just get married to that person. Everything that comes with them tags along. Most importantly, that person is an image of God. And you vowed to love them wholeheartedly, genuinely. You vowed to respect them and protect them. You didn't only make this vow to them, you made it to God. You made it to their family members. You made it to every single person who cares about the person that you're deciding to commit to. That person, you made that vow to their ancestors. To Amadlozi, Alomu. I am not going to sugarcoat it. Singabantu abam nyama, singabantu abam isholo, we are Africans. And mauzazi, we are lazi kumis. You know, there was a Zozilami episode where a man came seeking for help from Sistemi because he didn't understand why his life was falling apart. Guess what happened? The father of that man's wife came up and he said, gashe, gashe, wen. Your life is in shambles. You don't know whether you're coming or going, and it's all my doing because I am furious. How dare you play games with my daughter? Who do you think you are? That's my child. Dead or alive, I will protect her. Dead or alive, if you play her, you will feel my wrath. And the reason Uchakatakan is because you're playing games with my daughter. You're cheating on her. You're disrespecting her. You're breaking your vows. Wasasanga. You're hurting my child. When you promised me, when I was still alive, that you would take care of her. Did you think that just because I'm no longer in the physical world, kupelile, I am done for? She no longer has a male figure that's going to love and protect her. You must have bumped your head. I am everywhere. I see everything. I hear everything and I know everything. And until you express remorse, until you change your ways and you treat my daughter like the queen that she is, I'm going to make your life a living hell until the day you come and join me in the spiritual world. Jesu! And then you find people going around saying monogamy is unnatural. People who want to be in committed relationships are unrealistic. 
delusional. Zhuang, just because when I eat just because nobody wants to commit to you, nobody wants to be faithful to you, nobody wants to love you wholeheartedly, nobody respects you enough to do that. Doesn't mean everybody else doesn't deserve it or everybody else won't get it. Just because when you struggle to respect yourself, just because you lack self love, self control, self discipline, and uhamba ui neka, uhamba ui klisha, yonk indao, doesn't mean everybody is like you. And it doesn't mean that everybody aspires to be like you. Not everybody sees that as liberation, freedom, power, sexy, fun, in control. No, you're a mess. You're all over the show, contrary to what you think you are. And when you live that kind of life, where hearts are being broken, homes are being wrecked, and wounded little human beings are being raised, you are a problem, and there will be consequences to be suffered. People make it seem like my zondwa. People are hating on them. People wish death upon them. I hate the fact that I'm the one who did not die that day. When an entire human life was taken during Ubufebe, there are people left behind with unanswered questions broken hearts, grieving day in and day out, and people want to play the victim. And had Kelly not decided to get involved with a married man, none of this would have happened. Had she continued, had she held her head up high and refused to entertain a married man when he approached her, we wouldn't be here. Because ultimately, the ball is in our court. You choose to entertain that guy. You may not have approached him, but you choose to entertain that guy. You help him break his wife's heart. You help him disrespect other people's families, ancestors, and God, Imbala. A lot of people have been thinking this. A lot of people say this in their homes during kitchen table talk. But I have the guts to say it out loud. Because if we don't have these uncomfortable conversations, nothing will ever change. And it sucks that women get crucified, blamed, and they get to bear the brunt when such things happen. Because it takes two to tango. And it's really disgusting. Uguti people will say, ah, our great grandfathers. Our grandfathers, our fathers, our uncles, our big brothers are doing this. They have been doing this and it'll continue being done because it's the norm. It's only natural for men to cheat, for men to go around planting their seeds everywhere, creating broken homes, broken children, broken human beings that will continue this vicious cycle of brokenness. And then when they get older and they realize, mm, 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 mm. I've broken so many hearts. I'm old and alone. Nobody desires me. Nobody takes me seriously because And now that I actually want to settle down, I'm not finding what I'm looking for. Because they tend to look for good women. Faithful, loving, God-fearing women. Yet all their lives, these women. And then they end up going out like Kevin Samuels. Imagine leaving this world and having people rejoice at your demise. Having people celebrate your passing. How insane is that? How problematic are you? How problematic could you have been? But if you have made it to 35 years old and you're unmarried, you are a leftover woman. A leftover woman. You are what is left. Men know that there's something likely wrong with you. Whether you want to hear it or not, I'm going to just go there with you. I'm telling you the truth that you don't want to hear. You cannot be 
fit in a, 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 an adjustable six or higher, 35 unmarried, something wrong with you. Here's what's going to happen. If you are a woman, 35 plus, and you want a man that's uh, on the same lifestyle level, you're going to have to share it. All right, what do you think about sharing a man? I'm okay with that because if they're going to mess around with other females, I'm going to do what I want to do too. No, no, that's not how that works. Okay. That's not how that works. You share a man and sit your ass down. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why you ladies think it works that way. But please go ahead and tell me why it does. I want to hear, and I'm going to let you speak. Because this is that whole, if you do it, I'm going to do it too. Ain't nobody trying to marry you. When you're supposed to leave your mark, when you're supposed to leave a legacy, something that will make people go, mm. yeah, no, what a man. Nah, people make jokes out of your death. People celebrate your death. And there are men who still haven't woken up. There are men who still look up to that. There are men who still look up to men like him. The world is in trouble. And when they have daughters, they realize what's mm, 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 mm. Women are precious. Women need to be handled with care. But guess what? Their daughters have to endure that vicious cycle that their fathers created. This is the way to go. This is how women are treated. Oh, so now because it's your daughter who's being treated the very same way you were treating other people's daughters, it's a problem. Somebody needs to feel your wrath. Somebody needs to get an ass whooping. Somebody needs to double them off. Only then you realize how vile your behavior was or is. But some men still continue regardless. Others may change. But just because you've changed, just because you've repented, doesn't mean everybody else has. Doesn't mean everybody else is now going to start treating your daughter like a diamond. Unfortunately, these are some of the consequences you have to suffer. And it's very unfortunate. It's painful. But we all know that if ufuna ukshaya ingane yomuntu u atheka umzalwayo we qedile ke lapho and if ufuna ukshaya umuntu u atheka ingane yakhe hayi lapho incwadi igcwele umbulale umqedile and i've seen it happen one of the wildest things for me to witness was when a fellow youtuber posted that her husband was her first everything when i saw that post oh i was like beautiful beautiful when i went through the comments people were bashing her they came for her neck they crucified her for saving herself for marriage they crucified her they made her come across as stupid. And they were like, who does that? Why would you do that to yourself? You have to hop on a number of dicks first before you settle down. And I was like, is this what we're teaching each other? Is this what we're advocating for? I firmly believe that one ought to spread their wings. People should date. People should vet. That way they get to learn about different people. That way they also get to learn about themselves. They get to know themselves, what they like, what they don't like, what they'll never tolerate, what they deserve. But that doesn't mean you have to sleep with all these people that you're dating. And if you're doing it, do you. That's you. That's your life. That's what you think will work for you. But if another person feels that it won't work for them, how dare you bash them? Who are you to tell them how to go about this life thing? 
Who are you to tell them how to handle their body and their soul and who to share their energy with? Just because you're for everybody doesn't mean everybody wants to be for everybody. The less available you are, the less accessible you are, the fewer the energies that get to penetrate your space and your soul. And in that way, you retain your purity and your value. And until you understand this, you'll continue saying, ho is life. You'll continue sharing yourself and your energy and your soul with everybody. And when you finally realize Limaza, that you're doing yourself a disservice, it'll be too late. You'll be depleted. Seeing gorgeous, successful women like Ayanda Tabete messing with married men, allegedly, blows my mind and breaks my heart simultaneously. Because you'd think she'd know better, especially because she's a divorcee, especially because she was once married. You would think she'd be more considerate, more compassionate towards her fellow sisters, considering that she found her husband at the time, Andy Lengube, with his legs wide open in the air and his anus being penetrated by another man. Allegedly, you would think that after witnessing that and experiencing that betrayal firsthand, she wouldn't do it to the next woman. Whether your partner or your husband is cheating on you with another woman or with a man, at the end of the day, it's betrayal, it's disrespect, and it will never stop being appalling. We are the treasures of the world. We set the tone for how things ought to go in this world. And that is why so much pressure is put on us. And that is why we get blamed when things go wrong, even if you were involved with someone else. But you, as the woman, will get crucified for that act more than anyone else. Because you have the power, whether men want to admit it or not, whether you want to believe it or not as a woman. But umshaba wait. And with men, you'll see people's fathers and grandfathers turning in their graves when their daughters and granddaughters are being played. The very same way they used to play other people's daughters and granddaughters when they were still in the physical world. But when they get to the other side, they realize, this better. And we left behind teachings that are leading other men astray. You would think Ayanda Tabete would do better, but here she is having a child out of wedlock with a married man. And she's flexing and having the time of her life. And then you'll find other women saying, hey, wait to umtu tatuem dwin. Sometimes your soulmate is married to someone else. And look how it's working out for Alicia Keys. She did it. She messed with a married man. She won him over and he married her. And now they're living this beautiful, perfect life. <laughs> Itawaz, Pelatina Siaz, we're international. We know everything that goes on here. Oma keloni bete melik. Oma keloni bete rashia. Oma keloni bete ungapa nangapa, ungapa nangapa. Si zazi zinje ngoba. Mestanda futi si ova agasha kon. Si bonele matupa zindo zenzek. Do you have any idea how crazy things are in that marriage. You don't, but you want to convince yourself that it's possible to shapa mutukastina and live happily ever after. You're doing the very same thing or you're aspiring to do the very same thing because you've thrown in the towel and you think, ah, bolile bolile. I might as well do the same because laim shaben songes bolile, songes bolile. Was it what dabugis? What a damn shame. Ultimately, it never ends well. And this baku uzos tola, be it la imsaben usaza and amvana, or in the spiritual world, you will suffer the consequences. With that said, good luck. <laughs>